Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to North Carolina. We get to uh, watch the sun come up every morning out here while we get ready to uh, go to work, make some YouTube videos. So today we are going to a five acre pond building project. So I've been there for the past four months. I had some loggers come in, we cleared 17 acres, I stumped it all, and then we are, we're about two weeks from being done on the five acre pond right now. What I've learned that people really like to see is the, the start of the job from start to finish. So when I get there that morning, I'll take a video clip uh, get all the equipment ready to, to start and then just kind of film throughout the day there and uh, just kind of document the progress made, you know, what has happened, things don't always go as planned, just kind of catch the highlights of everything and then, uh, you know, just kind of show, show that off throughout the day. So normally I just grab everything right here and uh, like I say, it's easy. I got a magnet mount, homemade, you know, like I say, I'm not about wasting a lot of time, so I can just grab it and go, and go from machine to machine to machine, and uh, have everything that I need to be able to film that way. So let's get the day started. And then I just put it right here on the window. And that's pretty much, I mean, some days it never gets moved, and that's pretty much the highlight of it right there. When I started YouTube, there was no GoPros, there was no nothing that had a three megapixel digital camera. I mean, that's like filming with a potato nowadays. I was taking pictures of some jobs and then I realized that this, I just bought a new camera that had a, a video setting. So I kind of set it between my legs there and I was filming loading a truck and it was a horrible video. <laughs> but it was about two or three minutes long and I uploaded it on YouTube and it took like four hours to upload because we had dial up at the time. And then I went back uh, on there, God, it was months later, and realized that it uploaded and actually some people had commented on it. I thought, well, this is pretty cool. You're showcasing, you know, what you have a passion in and then people that are watching it also enjoy it. So it's been great. Uh, like I said, I've met some of my best friends from YouTube and talked to them, you know, right regularly. I just like to keep everything as real and as original uh, as possible, you know, nothing scripted. The weather, it's raining, this didn't go right, it, it happens, it happens. And, and that's what I try to showcase for the most part that, you know, it's not always sunny and 70. So the, uh, the video editing process, <laughs> I have learned over the years to make it as simple as possible. Uh, I try to film film the highlights you know a lot of people I've noticed struggle with YouTube saying they're like it takes so long to edit well they're they're setting the camera up and they're you know filming all day long I was like you're wasting so much time and footage that, and time that you got to go through there and edit all that so if you can just you know if I know I'm gonna be sitting right here loading the truck I'll jump out while the truck's gone like I said I don't like to waste time I try to film as efficient as possible so that there's not a lot of extra work on my end as far as putting everything together but still like a 45 minute to an hour video it in the end it still does take about an hour to to put all that together and a 20 minute video I've had those edited in five minutes before you know if it's 10 clips put it together five clips bam done it is pretty awesome to uh, have people come up to you and say that hey like I, bur I bought my first excavator because of you and uh, still it still catches me off guard to this day I just think I'm just I don't think that I'm nobody special. I just film what I do every day. 